Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. In the last episode, we completed two side quests, and because we dealt with level 3 ghouls, I'm pretty sure we can move on to the last one that we have, which is not really a side quest. Uh, see, we have secondary quests. This one, don't, don't even think about this one, because this is just, yeah, complete your collection of Gwent cards. This side quest spans the entire game. Um, but we do have a Witcher contract, which is basically a side quest, but a little different because we need to fight an actual monster. Uh, which is cool because the monsters are varied and you kind of sort of learn how to fight different monsters. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's see, if we press X, we've got a custom waypoint. And then we can just run over to the signpost. And this is, again, how fast travel works in this game. Uh, so we hold this and then we just see where our objective is. Usually how these contracts start is you need to talk to uh, a contact, and usually, you know, they're like, Oh, oi, witcher, me daughter, she was stealing, she was stolen away by uh, this horrid creature. I didn't know what he was, but he was something that didn't look quite right. It's... <laughs> Get used to that, because that's probably, <laughs> probably going to happen a lot in this Let's Play. Um, let's take a look at this again. Yeah. Like I said, a lot of those are just um, random backstory things. So we need to go find the contact so that we can get some information on what has happened here. And it looks like they are holding out in this hut. Or maybe they're just living. I don't know why I said holding out. <laughs> I think, can we just loot people's stuff? Because we just totally stole an emerald right there. I guess we can. Greetings, good man. Having trouble with your well? That's what I read. Aye, tis haunted. Has been for a good twenty years. Twenty? So why do you put out a notice just now? Because earlier on we drew our water from the river. But so many corpses floating in it after the battle has turned noxious. My daughter Mandy drank half a pitcher. Felt dreadfully ill, can't keep nothing down. She grows worse by the day. Herbalist claims you fight a fever with drink. And not beer nor cider, but water. Clear, pure water. And where am I to get that if not from the well? But first, the ghost's got to be driven away. And it don't let any man near. This ghost. Describe it for me. Well, it's awful frightening. Awful. I meant what does it look like? It looks like a woman, but fresh from the grave. Wears a dirty dress, all rags, its skin flaking off its bones, and it howls like it's suffering. Some wraith, or maybe an alp. If you don't wallop it, master, if you don't take care of it, that is, it'll come kill me daughter. I feel for you, but this is my job, so let's talk about my pay. Something not right with the coin. Okay. So we're probably going to be doing a lot of haggling. Again, uh, it's just the mantra of witchers. Witchers always do things for coin. And I did play Geralt where he, you know, sort of did everything for the base amount. But that is not the Geralt we're playing this time around. To, ha to haggle for a higher reward, choose an amount using left stick and confirm your choice by pressing A. If your counterparty accepts your offer, you've made a deal. If your offer is too high, your counterparty will grow annoyed, push too hard, and he or she will break off negotiations. Um, so I don't think I, yeah, like I said, I don't think I really did this too much. And it's kind of funny that we're literally haggling for, <laughs> like, eight gold. Uh, let's just get the midway point. If you could drop your price a bit, I'm sure we'd agree. Okay, how about 24? That settles it then. All right. I don't even, I don't think I've ever used that mechanic because, yeah, like I said, I just took the base amount. Fine, I'll help. Where's this well? In Havel. A settlement on the heights. It's abandoned now. No one ventures there on account of the ghost being about. Drive it off. Please. Okay. So, like I have said multiple times, uh, these types of quests are my absolute favorite quests. Because you have to sort of learn about a monster. And it's not just like a ghoul. You know, we've been fighting ghouls so far. There's obviously random monsters that... Uh, you know, are all over the place. But these contracts are for special monsters. Monsters that take a bit more. So you kind of have to, like, learn about them. Um, you have to, usually, if you're smart, ingest certain 
Move it. Elixirs and things. Um. Okay, how do I? Got to get used to these controls. Controls again. Um, yeah, you can ingest elixirs. Alchemy is important in this game, as I've mentioned. Uh, so you can ingest certain elixirs that will help you out in defeating monsters. Like, I, I forget how it is, but it might be... I think it's usually damage boost, so, you know, this much more damage against wraiths or what have you. Okay, yeah, I have to get used to the horse controls because they're quite different than Breath of the Wild, which I've been playing quite a lot of. Okay, so find the spirit the that haunts well. the well. Strange. No sign of a ghost. Maybe it only shows at a certain time of day. Okay, so let's see. Find evidence of the spirit's presence using your witcher senses. That is what they're doing. We've got some reeds here. Grass around the well scorched. Okay. So we need to keep looking until basically we've found what we want to find. A lot of the stuff is secondary. You don't have to actually use your witcher senses to, to look at them. Uh, we also, again, want to loot everything. I, th I forget if this stuff does take up space. I don't remember. Um, we did have, like, the inventory in this game works a little bit differently. You can see in the top left we've got uh, a 7 out of 60. So I think that's, like, 7 out of 60 items. It's not pounds or anything. Oh, my God. The tutorial in this game. I know I can turn the tutorial off. I, I guess I should have, but I kept it on just in case there's... Holy crap. No, man. No, I'm done here. No. <laughs> okay, let's, uh... Okay, here we go. Yellow diary. General. Might be useful. But yeah, let's, uh... Let's do a little experiment right now. I'm gonna go over here. So, currently... We have 7 out of 60 pounds, right? Or 7 out of 60, whatever you want to call it. If we take all this stuff, that was 3 items. And now we're at 8, so it does increase... Okay, maybe it is based on the weight don't really remember. Um, I think we need to read that journal if I'm not mistaken. So let's go into quest items and we should have... Yes, the yellow diary. Okay. So you guys can read this if you would like. Um, I will pause the screen every now and then. This should give us a little bit of backstory onto the current contract that we're on uh let's see what else do we have a miraculous guide to gwent yennefer's letter brother missing here okay so yeah again you guys can pause if you'd like to read these this is all stuff we've picked up before though okay so i thought that would have changed it but i guess not i thought we had to get that diary at some point and it would get uh it would have given us more insight into this well quest. But I suppose not. Let's head into the other houses. We're just basically looking for the right item. The yellow stuff... The yellow highlighted things are obviously things that you can loot. And the red ones are important to the story. Okay, looks like... Did I miss something over here by the well? It's hard to tell with all of this... All of these glowy things happening. Oh, there we go. Bodies dried to a crisp. Signs of burns. All signs point to a noon wraith. Noon wraith. Read the entry about noon wraiths in the bestiary. So this is a really cool part of these contract quests as well. Uh, you have to go to like I think it's the glossary. Yeah, go to the glossary and then there's a bestiary. Yeah, I know. You don't have to tell me a tutorial where it's like literally if you want to go to the bestiary, highlight the bestiary and press A. Yes, I'm pretty sure everybody everybody understands that. Okay. Oh man. Oh, God. All right, no, just no. Get me out of this tutorial, my God. All right, bestiary. So we're looking for the Noon Wraith entry. Uh, we've got Griffiths, which we've seen before. Oh, I thought it was a Griffin. No, that makes more sense. But yeah, it's a Griff. No, it says Griffith. Okay, Griffith. Yeah, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, necrophages, we've got ghouls, which we fought. And then specters, we have Devil by the Well, but then Noon Wraith. 
So despite what is commonly thought, peasants do not interrupt their labors at midday to get out of the sun, they do so to avoid noon wraiths, Vlad Raymond peasants and their customs. On particularly searing summer days when the sun reaches its zenith, race will at times appear resembling sun-scorched women dressed in long white robes. These are noon wraiths, the spirits of young women and girls who died violent deaths right before their weddings. Driven mad with pain or anger, they wander the field searching for their unfaithful lovers or backstabbing rif uh, rivals though they will kill anyone who does not get out of their way in time. They are often held in this world by some object of intense emotional significance. That is why, if one ever finds a wedding ring or torn veil in the middle of a field, one should not pick it up, but instead back away as quickly as possible. So this is what I'm talking about. This is why this game is so cool, because you've got these bestiary entries, which tell you about these unique monsters to the Witcher universe, and maybe they're based on, you know, mythology in our world. But uh, then it also says vulnerable against, and we've got like different, uh, can we? Yeah, we should be able to hover over it. Moon dust bomb, specter oil, and Yurden, which is our sign, uh, which is, yeah, so you need to look up the bestiary to find out what is useful. Something's tied the noon wraith to this place. An object, something she needs before she'll leave this world. Okay, so we're looking for that item. Blood stains. Almost faded, but the line's taut. Something's not right. And obviously there's a little bit of detective work as well. Whoops, hanged by the bucket rope. Woman the journal belonged to, must be. Yeah, I think we did need to find the journal. Wide pelvis, small jaw, a woman. Around 30, judging by the teeth. Left arm's missing. Need to cremate the remains. Gotta find the object that binds her to this place before I do, though. Was she wearing the bracelet from her husband? Might be why her arm fell off. Gotta jump down there. Hope I don't break my legs. I just love how he nonchalantly says that. Hope I don't break my legs. Wide pelvis. Need to cremate... Got okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the well. There's not much to do, but just jump in there. We're going to land in the water. Swimming in this game is kind of odd. Um, the controls are really weird. I'm already so used to, again, Breath of the Wild that I'm kind of fearing, like... Um, I'm kind of fearing, like, running out of stamina and drowning here. So we can hold X to dive... Hold X, so I need to pay attention here because I keep messing up with the Witcher 3 swimming controls. Hold X to dive or B to swim towards the surface. Okay. So let's go down here and get this first and foremost. And then let's go find this. Ornate bracelet. So that would be the item that is binding the Noon Wraith to this place. Now let's hold B to surface. And we need to get out of here. Uh, the quest markers are also really good. Also, you see how this little piece of rock has that light on it. Um, that basically lets you know that that is where you can get out. It just lets you know that you can um, hold on to the ledge. Up a bracelet with an inscription to Claire from Volker. Bracelet must have belonged to the woman in the well. Lovely craftsmanship. But I'll have to burn it with the body to get rid of the Noon Wraith for good. Better do it near the well. Okay, now we need to get out of the well. And Geralt's really lucky that there's an exit. I mean, or maybe, do I just not know? Why is it telling me to go over there? I think we need to go that Wait, wait a second. Yeah, it's telling me... Oh, but it's up. Yeah, one, it's just telling me to get out. I was going to praise the um, the map marker system and say that it's usually pretty accurate. But I guess not. <laughs> Alright, so we need to dive over here. Hold A to swim swiftly. Alright, so yeah, we need to, we just need to remember A is to swim swiftly, X is to dive, and then B is to rise. A um, little tricky there because swimming controls are often different for each type of game. I know, by the way, that this is incredibly dark. As per usual, it's very dark for me, too. I'm not even sure if there are... Yeah, I think our health is regenerating, right? We definitely didn't have that much health before. 
I'm not sure. I know that in a certain difficulty, like, there's something about... If you meditate in this game, you restore your health. And I think um, in a certain difficulty, meditating does not restore your health. Eat but I do think it's generating. Brew some wraith oil. Drink some potions. Okay, so this is an excellent opportunity to take a look at the alchemy system. Uh, if we go to alchemy... Okay, yeah, to create an item, you need the ingredients, right? Here you can find a description, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, alchemy uh, substances, we don't really need to look at just now. Looks like we can make, yeah, whenever it has a one in the category name, that means you can make something. So we can make Samum. Blinds opponents with its explosive radius, destroys monster nests. Okay, we're looking for wraith oil, though. Spectre oil. Yeah, and we need, what is this? Arenaria, alchemy ingredient. Okay, 10% attack power versus specters. That's honestly not even... And you see how it says master item to the right there? That means that once we create this, uh, it's created for good. We don't actually have to create any more of it. What happens is, I think you have a certain amount of them, and then you have to meditate to restock your uh, master items. So that's really cool about this game too. Once you make a master item, you don't have to create it again, which I really love. 10% uh, damage is not really that big of a deal. I feel like we could take on this Noon Wraith. Uh, we might die once, but we shall see, because I just don't have a lot of healing items. But Yurden is really, really strong, so in fact, I was going to say let's go ahead and grab it now, but we don't have to do it just now. Okay, so we need to light the fire to destroy the Noon Wraith's bones and bracelet. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, if you could go ahead and... There we go. And the bracelet. Igni. Thoracatus. Beautiful. Hey, I think it worked. Okay. No, why did you have... Ew, why did you... Why did he have whatever that sign is? Why did he have that active? I wanted Quen. Okay, we're going to buy a little time here. Uh, this is actually really hard. So there we go. We're going to activate Quen. Now we're going to activate Yurden because Yurden is extremely powerful in dealing with wraiths. We definitely do not want this thing to get close right now before we have Yurden activated. Okay, now we're going to put Yurden on the ground. And then we're going to attack it. So it gets slowed gets slowed while it's in the Yurden field, and you can upgrade Yurden, obviously, uh, in order to increase its potency. Did we get it, or did it spawn its copies? It spawned its copies, alright. So we have to find which one's the real one. Okay, it still has a little bit of health left. And down it goes. She's gone. For good. Alright. Oh, this is cool too. I forgot about this. Yeah, we need to take a trophy from the Noon Wraith. I think I've been calling it Noon Wrap, which is wrong. It's Noon Wraith. Anyways, we've got Essence of Wraith, Infused Dust, Noon Wraith, Mutagen. All of this stuff will come into play later on once we do get into alchemy. You have to actually, like do alchemy in this game. It's not something that you can just forego like in Skyrim or Oblivion. And there's the Noon Wraith trophy. And we should be able to equip that trophy. I'm not sure if we need to equip it on our horse. Um, Where's my... Do we have an equipment menu here? Character? Uh, let's see. Oh, and we should have meditated, by the way. Um, meditation, like, restores your health and restocks all of your alchemy, like I said. And that's usually smart to do before you take on a, a beast. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there should be a thing for our trophy. Oh, it our Oh, okay, it automatically equipped it. Yeah, so there's our Noon Wraith trophy. 5% bonus experience from humans and non-humans. Strap trophies to your saddle to retrieve a bonus. And it did it automatically. So that's cool. Obviously, as you take on bigger and bigger monsters, you'll get better and better trophies. We got a little bit of experience. I cannot... Can you believe that 
we've done the first three side quests in the game. We have not leveled up once yet. Isn't that sad? All right, so let's travel back over here, finish this quest, and then I believe we will have done everything in White Orchard thus far. Uh, again, I I don't know if there are time-sensitive quests in this game. I feel like the majority of them um, are not. I feel like you can do them literally whenever you want. Oh, there is something. I remember when I was going for the achievements in this game, which, again, by the way, I, I got all of them. I got all the achievements. The reason I repeat myself so often when it comes to things like that is just because I want you guys to know that I'm not playing this game casually. Like, I've actually spent a lot of time with it. Uh, put your sword away, dude. Yeah, there we go. No, 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 no. Put... There we go. Okay, I did the thing. Job done. The well was haunted by the ghost of a woman who was killed there. I drove it away. I just hope every unburied wretch don't start haunting us. Well, that battlefield's gonna cause us a heap of trouble. If they do, you know who to contact. Meanwhile, Claire, Volker, names ring a bell? I don't know him. Though I did hear our herbalist Tamira mention a Claire once. Same one, maybe? Your reward, Master Witcher. The gold I'd hid away for Mandy's dowry. Without you, she'd never have lived to wed. Now, there's hope for it, at least. How about that? Never expected to get a dowry. Nor did I suppose I'd ever give one to a witcher. Strange times these, wouldn't you say? Strange and sad. God, we're so close to a level up. Probably about a hundred left. Okay, so that is that. And like I said, I'm pretty sure we are done here. Um, I forget how to spot new quests in this game, but if we look at a world map... I think you have to be in the place to see the quest, but if we rode through here, for instance, there might be an exclamation point that, that pops up. I'm going to assume that we're done um, for now. There will be more quests that pop up later, but for now, I think we are done with everything. So we need to do our main quest now, which is asking the Nilfgaardians about Yennefer. We just need to make sure that we're as close to the objective as possible. Looks like that we are, so let's go ahead and call our boy Roach. Uh, sometimes I think he does get stuck, but he'll try to make his way over. You can see his point on the mini-map. Come on over here, bud! Yeah, Roach is so much better than hey, yeah. your horse in, uh, in Breath of the Wild. He just really is. Because I don't even use horses in Breath of the Wild. And I think I don't even need to... Yeah, I've got my left hand off of the controller right now. Um... But things like that happen every now and then. Yeah, if you double tap A and then just let go, Roach will literally just follow the uh, the trail. Which can be cool, but sometimes, or actually most of the time, I like to um, make sort of a, a beeline. This game's good with doing that because, like, in Skyrim, there are mountains and stuff. And I'm pretty sure that... Well, it depends on where you are. There's a lot of different areas in this game. But uh, for the most part, like, at least where we are right now, you can see that we can kind of just make it direct line but there's also lots of monsters here obviously that we're seeing gas clouds in swampy areas are poisonous watch out okay yeah probably should not have rode right there I don't even remember gas clouds being a thing huh okay but yeah uh, roach will follow the path I'm gonna go ahead and get off of them now I feel like we can just jump off of them quickly but we'll try that later I guess Okay, so we've activated another post here. This is a Nilfgaard base, or a garrison. Um, Nilfgaards are kind of seen like the it's enemy, true. but like I said, it's not just black and white like in a lot of games. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Guessing your captain's got work for me. This is the army, Nordling. There is no guessing. To the tower. Go. Nordling? I don't even know what that means. Huh. So like I said, I think quests pop up automatically, so I'm going to assume we're not bypassing anything important at the moment. But there is 
Use special grindstones to temporarily enhance your weapons. Doing so grants a bonus to the damage dealt by your weapons. Oh, that's right, yeah. I think it's just as simply as... Yeah, activating it. And then we'll get a little bonus. And there's an armorer over there, too, but... How much now, grain will your village give? We'll just talk to this guy. Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. That girl. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it, and then I shall see what I can do. Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already, including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a batu. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle? No. Too high a risk. I... Cannot disperse my forces. Demeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain, ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands or hire a professional. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? I was thinking this guy looks like somebody, and I just realized it's Braun from uh, Game of Thrones, the actor that plays Braun. Or Braun, I guess. I'll need bait, a specific herb, Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Need more information about this griffin. Its sex. Why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. Tamira and Mislov. Thanks. Es soon the actor. Alrighty! So we need to go kill that griffin that we saw earlier on. And we need to do two things first. We've got two people to talk to. Oh, we can enhance our armor too. Where? Here? Oh, cool. Yeah, I forgot about that. We're going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we will inquire about those two people. I don't remember what their names are, but we'll definitely talk to them. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you there. Bye-bye.
song is sweet. 